Hello, I'm Shannon from iHeartRadio Canada. How are you? We're in Canada. Toronto. All right. Yeah. Toronto, eh? Down east, eh? <laughs> You sound like one of us. I love it. I'm Canadian, barely. I'm still Canadian. I haven't lived there in many, 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 many years. I'm almost Canadian. I grew up in North Dakota. Oh, that is almost I'm Canadian. below the border. That's close. That's awesome. You sound Canadian, yeah. Darcy, um, I wanted to wish you a happy belated birthday. Thank you. That's nice. Happy birthday. Like a week ago. Happy birthday. Yeah, we all have them. Josh, I want to start with you. Of course, I have to ask, how was your experience working with Jennifer Lopez? Incredible. I mean, I, I have nothing but love for that girl. She's a total pro. She is a, she's a force of nature. I mean, she is who she is, but she's also very normal, respectful, and kind to everybody on set, not just the cast and crew, but everybody. And that's really how I... You know, like you can tell who somebody really is, is how they treat the highest of, of, on the totem pole or the lowest on the totem pole. Everybody's the same, and that's how she treats people, and that's what I really, really respected about her. Yeah. Did either of you think in your film career that you would be playing parental figures of Jennifer Lopez? I do love saying that. I love <laughs> telling people that. I, I, I know we're not married in the film, but I like saying that I play Jennifer Lopez's stepmom. It's really fun. <laughs> Evil stepmom. <laughs> May I add? May I? <laughs> yeah. How was, it, how was it working with her? It was it was great. Well, easy. I yeah. mean, for us, it was really easy. You know, every, you could always count on her to be on her mark, say her lines, boom, 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 bring energy to the the, the take, and away we go. Yeah, you know? she's like as professional as they come. Well, she's really like she's she's a machine. She's amazing. Yeah, it, is, it really is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, totally. And Steve, speaking of on screen wives, your on screen wife just won a Golden Globe. How is I know. I'm very proud of of my dear wife. Um, yeah, it's, she's, you know, Jennifer is. Jennifer never spoke to anybody but the cast, by the way. <laughs> Total diva. Now, Jennifer, Jennifer Coolidge is everything you might imagine. She's funny and she's kind of nutty and foul. And I couldn't have, it was just, it was really a dream. And like, I'd been a fan of hers. And then, then you're sitting there becoming friends with this person who you admired and, yeah, she's just great. And then for her to get this attention, it's so wonderful. It's so deserved. She's paid many, many dues. So it's great. I love that. Since we are iHeartRadio, we do love to talk music. Do cool. either of you have particular artists or songs that on your playlist that you would listen to before shooting? You know, I, honestly, like, this is going to sound goofy, but I did listen to a lot of Lenny Kravitz when we were filming this, just because it was like he was, you it know, was there, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it was kind of fun to, like, quietly, because I didn't want him to hear me listening to it. Uh, oh, really? It's good to know. <laughs> well, we had to listen to a lot of Edwin McCain, obviously, just a to learn lot, the lyrics. A lot of Edwin McCain. We had to listen to a lot of uh, the oh, Bengals, walk, walk like, like an Egyptian. Egyptian. Yeah, it's still like tattooed on my brain. I'm trying to think of what else. I love it. What about you, Cheech? No, I, I was playing music most of the time. Yeah. I brought my ukulele, and I was. Uh, it keeps me sane on the road, you know. So I just, I just play that all the time, you know, and, and learn new stuff, and it keeps my mind activated. What I would listen to when I was alone at my house, and you guys were all partying <laughs> together. Yeah. <laughs> I did have a little uh, gym there that I would go down and I'd just sort of do my thing. And, I, so I, and, and, and I just remember the one song that uh, every time I think of it now will remind me, will take me right back to the Dominican shooting this movie was, Save your tears for another day. The weekend. Yeah. Yeah. That was the song that's sort of the soundtrack in my mind. Every You know, when, when you hear a song, it sort of takes you back to wherever you were at that time. Yeah. Who's also Canadian. So That's the one Ooh. for me. Speaking of music, Lenny and Cheech, I, there was a, a lot of filming where the three of us were together, and I would just get to sit and listen to them because these guys are like encyclopedias about music, and they would talk about, you know, rock from the 60s and the 70s and people they know and people they love, and it was so fun to listen to, and it was, it was like, it was like, one of my favorite parts of filming. That was, it, was, it was interesting to hear uh, Lenny's R&B yeah. background and all of the stuff, because that was my background, yeah. too, you know, so all the groups and, and kind of uh, shade characters yeah. he, he knew, I knew, too, because we played with them, you know. But Lenny was very geeked out by Cheech and was like, you know, really just wanted to talk about music all the time, and it was really, it was really great. Yeah, how can you not be? That's yeah. incredible. I was into talking heads while I was there for some reason. Yeah. No. Stop making sense. For some reason, I just found it again. And, you know. I know why. It's because they were all in the pool, and all you could see was everybody's we head talking to each other. We were talking heads, Josh. 
That's why. <laughs> Considering that you are both already married, if you were to renew your vows, which cast member that you worked with would you want to officiate that ceremony? Officiate? Ooh. Yeah. I mean... <sighs> Steve. Yeah, Steve. Maybe a duo of Steve and Coolidge together. That would be. Yeah. yeah, I think Riot that's says. it. They really, like, the way they play off each other is pretty uh, remarkable. Pretty remarkable. You know, they, like, really get each other's comedy, and they, they, you know, they just set each other up. So I think, yeah, I would love, I would love the comedy duo of... Coulter Coolidge. Coulter Coolidge. (laughs) (laughs) You're both so great. I'm such a fan of both of you. So thank you so much for taking the time. This has been great. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your day. (laughs) Bye-bye.